must make a correction <laughs> in the last lecture because uh, in the last proposition they proved uh, I have a L and UI to give uh, some trivialization. I said that here, here you have theta, you have, and we put theta i. This is not, 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 not. This, this is a trivialization, and the g i j is the transition function of L. And but this is not not the function. Yeah. O of course, this is uh, uh, inside of the omega u i one. This is a one form. Yes. So, <coughs> and then theta i j g i j, yes, and this is one form and one form and the twisted part is here, yeah. So please correct it. This, this is this is wrong, yes. The correction, and then everything is clear maybe. Okay. <coughs> so uh, let's start uh, the. Uh, second lecture. Uh, first, I want to talk about the relationship between symplectic structure and uh, contact structure. So the relation uh, ship between uh, contact structure and uh, symplectic structure. <coughs> okay, so the situation is this. If you start with uh, M, yes, and uh, we have assumed this it has odd dimension, and M is complex manifold of dimension 2n minus 1, and uh, take and uh, let L be a, a holomorphic line bundle on M, and consider the, its dual bundle, L inverse. This is a dual bundle, and this is a line bundle, but uh, uh, we exclude the zero section from this line bundle. So we put this, so this is just L inverse minus zero section. Assume this condition. <coughs> and uh, this is a C star bundle, we call this P, and this is a C star bundle. Yes. <coughs> uh, let's assume this. And uh, so this sister bundle has a natural sister action because you have uh, something like this. And this is a zero sections uh, excluded. This here is a fiber. But sister action is just. Uh, action on the fiber-wise fiber -wise action, like this. If you have a point here, and the t times point is this, yes? This is a just fiber-wise sister action. And uh, this sister action generates some uh, a vector field, because uh, if you have a sister action, then you get uh, some flow, like this, some, some flow, like this. And this is a fixed point, but excluded. Anyway, anyway, the, the flow is something like this. And so, uh, corresponding to this sister action, you get some uh, zeta. This is the vector field on this uh, bundle. <coughs> but actually, this is this flow is uh, fiber-wise flow, so it. Uh, actually contained in the relative <coughs> uh, one form, a relative vector field, uh, M, yes. Actually, this is the, <coughs> this is the, meaning, <coughs> this is the, uh, yes. <coughs> and the, anyway, this is a vector field. And now, let us, then we have the following. Uh, proposition, proposition. Uh, uh, <coughs> the following uh, equivalent. Yes, the following, the proposition, the following uh, equivalent, equivalent. 
the, the first condition is to say that uh, there exists, this is 2n minus 1 dimension, so this is a, uh, a sister bundle, so this has a 2n dimension, so even dimension, and there exists some uh, symplectic, some symplectic, oh, of course holomorphic, uh, symplectic form omega uh, on L uh, times of weight because it has a natural sister action uh, with respect to this action this omega has weight 1 weight 1 this means that uh, T star omega is t, t times omega. t is just uh, automorphism induced by the element of t. Automorphism of L inverse times induced by this t. This is t. And if we pull back omega by this automorphism, then it just t times omega. This is a scalar mul multiplication. So if uh, this condition and the second condition, this is a symplectic condition, and the second condition is contact condition. So there exists a uh, contact uh, for form or structure uh, theta on inside uh, this, this base space. Uh, omega m1 times L. Yes, uh, this is the equivalent. So the symplectic uh, geometry here is transferred to the contact geometry here. The, this, these are equivalent. So I want to prove this. The proof is the following. The correspondence from A to B is the following. If you have such a uh, symplectic form omega, then uh, you have a, a zeta, or oh, this is called Euler vector field. By using Euler vector field, you have uh, one form. Uh, this is the two form, and this is the vector field, so you have a one form. But uh, uh, this is the, uh, here, and you, you have a following uh, exact sequence. Uh, this is a usual tangent bundle, and this is the uh, pullback of the pullback of the tangent tangent bundle of the base space M, and this is a relative one. And uh, uh, so, so, so sorry, this is the maybe. The omega is uh, oh, maybe beta. So you have here and uh, uh, m and p star omega m. Yes, you have uh, exact sequence. This is a rank one, and this is a rank two n, and this is rank two n minus one. And uh, this is one form. So this is the section of this vector bundle. Yes, but this is the uh, inner product with uh, such things, the relative vector field. So this it sits inside this space. So this is the uh, section of this vector bundle. Yes, and uh, but what is this? Ah, sorry, this is uh, M, not M, L inverse. Uh, sorry, mm. L inverse times uh, uh, P star M, yes, and by by projection formula, uh, projection formula applying to this, you get uh, M omega to P star, what is P star L inverse? This is nothing but uh, dialect sum of like uh, like this. This is the dialect sum of the uh, tensor power of L. Yes. So this is the 
So this is something like this. La. Yes, this is a projection formula. But uh, omega has weight 1 by the condition. What does it mean? So the Li part, omega 1 tensor, tensorized with Li, this part has weight i. And uh, yes, this part is here. But uh, what is this? This has weight 1. And this Euler vector field is weight 0. This is an invariant vector field by C star because it uh, generates this C star action. So this is weight 0. So this is a weight 1. Yes. So weight 1, weight 0. So this is weight 1, weight 1 form. And so this uh, lies in the uh, following part. Uh, so this actually lies in the uh, this part tends right with L. Yes. This uh, weight one, so this here. So uh, we put this M uh, theta. Uh, <coughs> then this gives uh, this gives uh, uh, contact structure on. Actually, this gives a contact structure on M. The uh, it is one can, actually one can check, uh, but I, I omit uh, 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 the following one: the uh, omega uh, n time uh, uh, n times wedge of omega uh, is non-degenerate uh, if and only if. Uh, d theta n minus 1, which theta is non-degenerate uh, as a twisted uh, 2 n minus 1 form. Uh, th this is one can check this. So uh, this implies that this is a contact. So if this holds, then theta gives a contact structure, as I explained in the last lecture. So. Uh, Theta gives a uh, contact structure. Remark this. And uh, uh, other direction is this. Uh, other direction is from B to A. If such a contact form is given, then we can consider the uh, pullback of such a contact form by this map. Then, of course, this is a section of the following vector bundles mm, tends right with uh, uh, <coughs> here p star p star omega one, but it uh, it's uh, as a uh, it, it p star omega one is uh, considered as a, just a one form on the. Uh, L inverse times, but here you have P star L. <coughs> but uh, P star L is uh, trivial. Natural, there is a natural trivialization. This is the uh, L, and uh, this is the P star L, and this is L inverse times, and this is L. This this, this is a natural. There is a natural uh, trivialization. So. Uh, by using such a natural trivialization of this bundle, you get the uh, map here. Yes. <coughs> and now uh, it gives uh, one form on the, on the upper space. But take, just take uh, D of this. Then it gives, uh, gives uh, uh, symplectic form uh, on L inverse. <coughs> of course, here uh, you have here. So this is trivialized, but uh, as a C star bundle, as a C star line bundle, it is not trivial. It is C star bundle with weight one. So this is the of weight one. Yes, 
And this process is the converse to each other. If you start with uh, omega and take this, and if you take pull back, if you take if you pull back this theta by p and take d, then it gives uh, original omega, and so, and so on. So the, uh, the so this is uh, all the equivalent. So now uh, uh, symplectic geometry can be translated into the uh, contact geometry. So now let's uh, <coughs> consider the following situations. Uh, now we have the following situations. Uh, let's start with a complex manifold of uh, any, uh, any complex manifold. Uh, and then take a uh, cotangent bundle. This is a holomorphic cotangent bundle. Holomorphic cotangent, cotangent bundle of M. <coughs> and uh, let, uh, let projectivize this uh, cotangent bundle. This is nothing but uh, T star M uh, minus uh, zero section uh, mod out the U, uh, standard sister action. Yes, this is a projectivization of the projectivized cotangent bundle. So you have uh, uh, <coughs> so if uh, if this is as uh, dimension n, so this has dimension. This is dimension to n, and this is dimension uh, to n minus one. Yeah, <coughs> and now let us consider the following situations: p star p t star m, and the uh, uh, relationship with this and uh, this. Uh, uh, yeah. <coughs> uh, the, the, the <coughs> ah, yes, this is the. Uh, uh, there is a natural. Uh, C star bundle structure. This is a C star bundle because by this, but uh, it is identified with the. You you have a, a tautological line bundle here, and uh, you have a tautological line bundle here. This is tautological line bundle, but it is uh, canonically identified with the uh, dual of the tautological line bundle. Uh, minus zero sections. This is the uh, commutative diagram. <coughs> yes. So this is the typical situations. And uh, now uh, let us consider the following. Now the uh, we notice here that the T S T star M has a canonical uh, symplectic structure canonical uh, symplectic uh, structure. What does it mean? Because uh, you have here uh, the map and uh, locally it is uh, you can take some point and take some uh, local neighborhood the locally M can be considered as some uh, 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 disks and something, something like this, ZD1 to the N. And uh, five, so, but it, it has a fiber coordinates. And uh, uh, so DZI, uh, so the, 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 the point here is something like this DZI, like this, uh, the and like this, and uh, uh, guzai, guzai i is a fiber coordinate, fiber coordinate uh, corresponding to the z i. Yes. Then uh, the, 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 uh, th this is the local coordinates of m. Then this is the local coordinates of a cotangent bundle. Yes, this is a local 
coordinates uh, of uh, cotangent bundle. Yes? Now, uh, let us consider the following uh, symplectic form. Of course, it is defined locally because it, it depends on the choice of local coordinates. Yes, and this is omega. But actually, this, this is, of course, symplectic two form defined on the lo locally. But it uh, can be glued together globally. It, this gives, this gives uh, globally defined defined uh, symplectic holomorphic symplectic form uh, omega on the cotangent one. Yes. <coughs> this is not trivial, but one can check this. So this uh, symplectic form is a canonical, so we uh, write omega canon. Uh, uh, yes, on P star n. This is canonical. So, <coughs> return to these situations. You have uh, omega is a, a canonical symplectic two form here. You have a canonical symplectic two form here. And uh, you have, because by this identification, you have a canonical uh, <coughs> symplectic two form here. Yes. Then, by using the previous proposition. Uh, this is, a, of course, this is a weight one, because if you consider the weight, the uh, C star action is just a, on this local coordinate, T, uh, C star acts trivially. And uh, on this coordinate, C star action is like this. Of course, this is the fiber-wise uh, scalar multiplication. So this has a weight one, because this is a weight one. So this is weight one, weight one. So this is weight one. So this is weight one. Now uh, one can apply the pre previous proposition. Then you get uh, uh, contact form on this space. And uh, <coughs> yes, and its contact form is nothing but this. So uh, you have a map, you have a section omega p t star m uh, times o p t star m 1. This is a contact line bundle because this comes from this. And this gives, uh, this is a contact structure, contact form on this place. <coughs> so this is the a typical situation. So this means that uh, we have the following proposition. We have proved that uh, proposition. Uh, the co projective bias cotangent bundle has a natural uh, contact structure with uh, contact line bundle is just a tautological one. Yes? <coughs> so we have proved this. <coughs> OK. <coughs> then, uh, yeah, yeah. Ah, yes. Then we, uh, there is a, now, uh, mm, there, there is uh, some. Uh, l let's consider now. Let's consider the. Uh, <coughs> let's consider the a projective uh, contact manifold. F from now on, this means that uh, this is a complex manifold, but a projective complex manifold with contact structure. Yes. Then there, is, there is uh, some structure theorem due to. Quebecas uh, Pitanel uh, Sumeze uh, and Bisniewski Bis Sorry 
Nie je úzky. Nie je úzky. Yes. Yes. <coughs> There are four persons. And uh, it says that uh, uh, let X be a such projective contact manifold, then uh, X is one of the following. One of the following. And the first one is uh, uh, X is the funnel, contact funnel manifold, contact uh, funnel manifold uh, with uh, second batch number is one, and uh, another one is the uh, such types, such such, such things, uh, such, such things. This is the B X is P T star M for a some for a some projective manifold M uh, <coughs> of dimension N. Yes. And uh, with uh, this is a we call this uh, natural contact structure with a natural natural uh, defined as follows uh, natural natural uh, contact structure <coughs> yes so one of the one of two things hold, uh, holds so. So what, what what happened in this case? There is a conjecture. Uh, there is a conjecture. Uh, this is a famous conjecture, but uh, uh, the conjecture says that if X is a projective uh, contact uh, funnel manifold, then uh, with uh, so the the uh, first case with B two X is one then uh, x is uh, some uh, minimal nilpotent orbit, projectivized uh, minimal nilpotent orbit for uh, complex simple Lie algebra. Here, where O min is, uh, is uh, minimal uh, nilpotent uh, nilpotent orbit of uh, a complex simple Lie algebra okay and this is a projectivization this is uh, all mean is the just a homogeneous space acted on a sister so you can take the sister action the scalar action and take the o mean is the, this, this is just P, this is P O mean. <coughs> what is the nil po, uh, minimal nilpotent orbit? I said that uh, uh, there is a hierarchy of, if you start with some uh, complex simple Lie algebra, and uh, you have a hierarchy of uh, nilpotent orbit, Yes, and the largest one is the regular orbit, and the second largest one is the subregular orbit, and there is the minimal one. O of course, this is the uh, uh, absolutely minimal one, but we don't we don't call it the minimal one. But uh, uh, the second smallest uh, nilpotent orbit always exists. Second, but other hierarchies are very complicated uh, in the intermediate. Uh, process, but here you get unique second smallest minimal nil, minimal nilpotent orbit, and it is called the minimal nilpotent orbit. Yes. <coughs> this is the meaning. Uh, this is the conjecture, and this is the open question now. Huh? Uh, yes, and uh, in the classical case, yes. And uh, exceptional case, it's a little bit different because, yeah. <coughs> what do you mean by projectivization of 
Mm. Uh, project, uh, this, this, this has a, this is something like this. This is a, some cone structure, and this is the this is the uh, origin, and this is the uh, minimal nilpotent orbit. It has a natural cyst action. Cyst action is ju just uh, if you if you consider the classical K, classical Lie algebra, then A is a matrix, and the, the some something some K is the set of some matrices, and uh, A has a natural scalar multiplication. This has a so natural cyst action. So if you have a uh, if you take quotient by natural cyst action, then it is something like that. that this, 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 this is the definition. Then X is always projective. Of course, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> it, 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 it is some, some uh, yes. D, 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 this is a cone. The closure of uh, minimal nilpotent orbit is a cone over the uh, origin. And if you take the ori uh, excluded origin, and then this is the, this, this is the P something. Yes. It, it is similar like this, C n plus 1 minus this is P n. Similar things happen. But this is a smooth cone, but this is a thing cone. <coughs> Yes. O minimum has only as a sister. Hmm? O minimum has only sister action, or other also have a sister. Or everything has sister action. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Everything has sister action. So the uh, each orbit is preserved by sister action. Yes. So if you if A has a. Uh, Jordan type something, then T A also have the same, same, not 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 the same, <laughs> not the same. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, in the nilpotent case, it is uh, yes. If A is a nilpotent matrix, and then A has some Jordan type, then T A also has the same nilpotent type, uh, same uh, Jordan type. This, this 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 is the meaning of the things. Uh, but uh, it is unsolved problem. <laughs> anyway, anyway. <clears throat> mm. So uh, now I will go to the next uh, uh, theory. Uh, <clears throat> symplectic structure has a close relation with contact structure, as I explained. But symplectic structure also has another other uh, structures. Uh, called to Poisson structure. So Poisson uh, structure and uh, Poisson deformation. I, I, I will use this theory to prove the main theorem. So uh, what is the uh, Poisson structure? Uh, Poisson structure is a very simple. If, uh, let, let's start with X. Uh, this is a uh, any variety of scheme, a ski scheme over C, over C, or a complex space, a, a, any uh, over C, or, or complex space is all, always over C. So, uh, and uh, a, anyway, then X is a Poisson, is X is Poisson, if the following holds, uh, there exists some bracket. The, this is the function from OX times OX to OX. This is the skew symmetric, skew symmetric, uh, bilinear uh, uh, form, uh, C, C bilinear, C bilinear form. Yes, C bilinear form. Uh, form. <coughs> and uh, such that the following holds. The first, it satisfies. It it, it is a by derivation. This is uh, it is. This is by derivation. By derivation. This means that uh, uh, if you take function f g h, f g and h are all local uh, function on X, then this is the. Uh, f g 
GH plus GFH. Yeah? And the by, by derivation means like this uh, uh, HFG plus GFH, something like that. And uh, as Q, by, by using this, this is uh, automatically, also, yes, skew symmetric. The second is this uh, satisfies uh, Jacobi identity. Uh, Jacobi identity is uh, some, some relation mm, appeared in D algebra or something. I don't explain. Uh, I, uh, <coughs> yeah, I don't. <laughs> I omit it. A, 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 some, some, some identity. <coughs> I don't mention it. Anyway, this is the Poisson structure. And uh, uh, there is an important uh, example. Example. The first example is our standard one. X is, uh, a, if M is a complex uh, manifold, a simple complex manifold with uh, a holomorphic uh, symplectic structure form, omega, then uh, it gives a natural Poisson structure. Uh, what is the Poisson structure? Omega is a, a global section of the two forms and it gives uh, identification with two sheaves uh, theta m is identified with the sheaf of one forms by this omega because this is a non-degenerate so this by using omega you have a, if you have a vector field then uh, you have uh, something like this, like this. And uh, this is a, because omega is non-degenerate, this is isomorphism, and it induces the wedge, uh, or it, it, it induces the isomorphism of the wedge of the both side. So we have a following. So the two form is identified with uh, uh, two vectors. And uh, now, uh, omega itself is a global section here, so by using this identification, you have some uh, two vector. This is a uh, Poisson uh, vector, Poisson vector. And now, uh, Poisson structure is given by the following. If you take uh, <coughs> F and G, F and G are both uh, local function, local homomorphic function on M, then FG is just defined as theta. Theta is two, four, uh, two, two vectors, uh, Poisson vector, and DF, DG. Then, mm, now, uh, th this part, you only need the non-degenerateness non of this form, but uh, omega is symplectic <coughs> form, so D omega is zero. So it, it, is, uh, it is the same as d omega is zero is equivalent to this part as uh, uh, satisfies uh, Jacobi identity. <coughs> yes. So uh, if you have a holomorphic symplectic form, you have a canonical uh, symplectic structure on M. This is the first standard example. So symplectic structure is closely related to, to Poisson structure. But we, uh, you can, uh, of course, you can generalize this a uh, little bit. So this is uh, example two. Uh, this example two play will play an important <coughs> role in the, in the next and uh, next lectures. So example two is just a, let x be a, a fine, a fine no, 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 just a symplectic variety in a sense. Then, of course, the regular part admits, this is a, a complex, a usual complex manifold or a smooth algebra variety. So it has a, uh, then it, it gives uh, 
natural Poisson structure on the regular part. But uh, X is a normal uh, complex variety by definition. So this uh, pairing can be uniquely extended to the pairing to the uh, function of x itself. So this can be extended by, by normality. Yes. So the, 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 the definition is as follows. If you take fg, then and if you restrict f to the regular part and g restrict to the regular part, you have a function on the regular part. But uh, if you have a function, holomorphic function on the regular part, it uniquely extends to the wall x by the Hartog's type theorem. So it uh, uh, extends to the this, and uh, th this we define fg. Hartog's. Yes. <coughs> so symplectic variety has a natural uh, symplectic uh, holomorphic, uh, sorry, Poisson structure. This is the second example. And uh, yeah. Okay, so uh, now uh, let's define the Poisson deformation. Now let's define the Poisson deformation. Uh, I will explain in detail, but uh, first I give a formal definition of such things. It's, uh, it's uh, some boring definition, but it, uh, it has a very powerful machinery. Uh, if you start with some Poisson scheme or a, a complex space, Poisson scheme over C or a Poisson complex space, with any singularities. And then a Poisson deformation of, uh, of uh, x bracket over some space. Uh, space is some punctured space. Uh, in the scheme case, this is a punctured scheme. And the complex space case, it is a some punctured complex space, punctured with this. Over S uh, is the following data. Here you have big X to S. This is a map of schemes over C or maps of complex spaces in respectively. And we call this pi. And uh, over the, this point, uh, we take fiber, the scheme theoretic fiber. And this there is uh, some identification with uh, original x. And uh, we, oh, this is a flat subjective. We assume that pi is flat subjective. And uh, we call this phi. Here, you have uh, uh, original uh, Poisson bracket. But uh, you, uh, this x, has also, this big X ha also has uh, some bracket, and this has the following property. So this is the bracket, this bracket is uh, 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 skew symmetric by linear form of the function of X, big X, X. But this is a uh, OS, OS by linear form. Form, and it's satisfied uh, by derivation and uh, Jacobi identity. This is the same. In other words, uh, big X is the Poisson scheme over S, or Poisson space over S. And, uh, and what is the relationship between this? This is because uh, uh, this Poisson structure restricts to the Poisson structure here. 
<coughs> one can restrict this Poisson bracket to the Poisson bracket on this uh, scheme theoretic fiber. And then this is the same. So this is the same. This is the same. Uh, this is the same by phi. <coughs> this is the uh, this is the Poisson deformation, and uh, and if two uh, Poisson deformation of the x and bracket are given, then they are called to equivalent. So if x and uh, uh, and uh, x prime uh, bracket x prime are uh, if uh, uh, Poisson deformation, deformation of x delta over s, uh, then they are equivalent. And uh, if the, we call it is equivalent, uh, uh, <coughs> if uh, 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 assume, assume. Then equivalent if the following holds. Uh, there exists some uh, map, and this is map pi, and another one is th there is a map pi prime, x prime, and uh, you have a uh, this map. This map is phi, phi, and. Uh, Mm. Just, just, just. I, 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 I will, I will write here. Big. Uh, x, uh, uh, s, and x prime s, and you have x, and uh, you have x, x, and the phi, phi prime, it's the same, and uh, there exists some isomorphism over S, we call Psi, and uh, then uh, th this is an identity map. This is a, a commutative diagram such that uh, this X uh, is this two, two Poisson structure over S coincide by, by this Psi. <coughs> yes. By, by psi. Uh, this is the uh, equivalence. Yes. So we get uh, some uh, natural functor from local Arginia rings to sets uh, by associating set, uh, each rings to uh, the equivalence class of Poisson deformations. Yes, this is the Poisson deformations. So this is the formal uh, definition. But uh, uh, I want to give uh, some example. This, is, this example is very interesting. Yes. <coughs> I will give some examples. One example. If you start with M uh, together with uh, holomorphic, uh, this is a complex manifold. Oh, so this is a holomorphic symplectic manifold. This means that the complex manifold with uh, holomorphic symplectic form. And then uh, this Poisson deformation is nothing but the symplectic deformation. So if you uh, that that means that if you have a, a Poisson deformation, of course this gives a Poisson structure as I as I explained. But uh, if you have a, a Poisson deformation here like this, uh, M. It is nothing but, uh, in this case, this is nothing but M. Uh, the data is just like this, omega and uh, M omega to S uh, zero. This is a Poisson deformation, as I explained, but it is equivalent. It is a complete the same as the deformation of uh, uh, M in the usual sense and uh, 
this omega m over s is a relative symplectic two form such that uh, omega m s restrict to the central fiber is nothing but omega. This is the so the Poisson deformation is the uh, symplectic deformation in this case. So uh, I will give a local uh, description of such uh, uh, symplectic deformations. So now uh, uh, we have we define the following sheaves. Now we have a uh, theta m. This is uh, just a tangent bundle, and but uh, we call p theta m. I don't I don't know the name, but uh, p theta m maybe Poisson. Uh, anyway, p te theta m. This is nothing but a vector such that uh, the Lie bracket. This is the Lie bracket. Lie bracket uh, of omega. Omega is a given one. The Poisson deformation is nothing but the symplectic deformation. So we consider this situation, and this this is the zero. This this is uh, uh, this this. Uh, an element of this uh, shift is uh, infinitesimal, infinitesimal automorphism of M, but the section of this shift is uh, infinitesimal automorphism, which preserve omega. Yes, Re, 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 re derivative, re derivation is zero, means that uh, infinitesimally uh, this uh, automorphism uh, preserve omega. Okay, so this is the uh, this meaning of this. Uh, uh, this. This shift has such a meaning. Yes. Then the following uh, proportion holds. Uh, now pro uh, proportion. Now uh, infinitesimal deformation is nothing but this. This uh, infinitesimal deformation. This is M. If S is the uh, ring of dual numbers, e square is zero, and in such a case, this is a fat scheme, fat points. It's not radius. This is a radius point, just one point, but this is a fat point with some fat structure, and uh, th this is called uh, infinitesimal uh, deformations. So then the, we have the following proposition. Uh, the first is the infinitesimal. Infinitesimal uh, Poisson or symplectic, then but I, I use the Poisson Poisson deformation of uh, x x x is not m bracket, uh, but no 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 infinitesimal automorphism automorphism of uh, m bracket. Yes, it is uh, has a natural one-to-one -one correspondence to H0 M P theta M. Yes, and the second statement is uh, infinitesimal decimal uh, pos uh, uh, sorry, Poisson or Poisson and Poisson deformation, Poisson deformation of M bracket, and uh, uh, take quotient by equivalence. The equivalence class of infinitesimal Poisson deformation is one, has one to one correspondence with uh, H one M P theta M. This is the local description. This is a similar to the Kodaila-Spencer theory. Uh, Kodaila-Spencer theory, uh, you, 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 you start from uh, complex manifold, not, not with uh, such a Poisson structure or symplectic structure. But in, the, in this case, the, 
uh, <coughs> usual uh, Kodaira Spencer theory, this corresponds to H0 m theta m, and this corresponds to H1 m theta m. This is the usual Kodaira Spencer theory. But Kodaira Spencer theory is uh, proved in the following way. So that if you ha start with m, then you take uh, sufficient, sufficiently uh, 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 you take some open covering of sufficiently small open set, then every uh, uh, infinitesimal deformation is uh, trivial. So if you have a uh, uh, infinitesimal deformation of ui, then it is uh, tri trivialized over s1. Uh, this is s1. s1. <coughs> And uh, and take another one, and uh, and uh, the, the deformation of M is obtained as a gluing of such things, and gluing is uh, uh, described by such things, and if the gluing is uh, uh, glued uh, globally, then uh, uh, yes, uh, uh, and uh, uh, so the. Gluing is described by some uh, infinitesimal automorphism, and uh, uh, deformation is nothing but some uh, uh, H1, H1 m theta m. This is the story, but uh, the same thing also holds. Uh, in our case, the uh, infinitesimal automorphism is replaced by infinitesimal Poisson automorphism. But Poisson automorphism is nothing but uh, infinitesimal automorphism uh, preserving the symplectic form. So this is nothing but this. So this is the, this. And another one, uh, uh, locally, if, if you take, uh, if you take uh, uh, in the Poisson case, in the, in the uh, symplectic case, if you take uh, uh, in the usual case, you, uh, it's enough to take ui, uh, stein, or affine. But uh, uh, Poisson case, uh, symplectic case, it's not sufficient. If you take ui, uh, very small stein, and uh, with h2 ui is zero, then every uh, infinitesimal uh, Poisson deformation is trivialized, and uh, symplectic deformation is trivialized. This is trivialized. This is the key, key step. Then, you, if you uh, cover such ui by m, then you get this statement. And uh, I want to explain this part a little bit. Uh, yeah, uh, I want to li explain a little bit this part. Yes. So we replace ui uh, some uh, m, and m satisfies uh, trivial, batch, trivial second batch number. Yes. Then uh, we have uh, uh, some, if you have some such a situations, and then, the, of course, uh, m is a stein or a stein or affine, then uh, as a usual flat deformation, it is trivialized like this. So, but not necessary. The symplectic structure is not trivialized because you have a symplectic structure of this and uh, you have a symplectic structure. Uh, and uh, if you, if you, if you trans transfer this uh, symplectic structure by this isomorphism, you get some uh, uh, symplectic structure like this. Uh, uh, eta, yes. <coughs> this is the omega is the sim original symplectic two-form of M, and the epsilon is this epsilon. The eta is some uh, two-form, two-form, and uh, d, d closed two-form, yes. So it is not trivialized usual. So I take uh, some suitable isomorphism here, such that 
uh, this goes to by by using this uh, isomorphism. Uh, this goes to omega, it, omega plus epsilon zero. This is not, nothing o omega. Then it, it it's trivialized. Then we can apply this uh, usual deformation theory. Then you get. So how how to do this? It's very uh, easy uh, to to how to use this. H m is zero. Then this means that eta is d closed, d closed. But uh, if you use this, then eta is uh, d exact, d exact. So d theta, t t theta is not contact form and anything, and then just some one form. Yes, this is some one form. Yes, yes, this is two form. <laughs> and then. Uh, Omega is a non degenerate, then you get this. This is, uh, 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 sorry, uh, the, you, you find some vector, vector field, theta m, such that uh, omega v is uh, theta. Because omega is uh, non degenerate, uh, one form, and the vector field. Uh, uh, one to one correspondence. So theta uh, correspond to some vector field like this. And then uh, then we take LV and then then uh, we take a phi to be the infinitesimal oath correspond to correspond to bonding to uh, this 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 V. Then uh, this is satisfied because L V W uh, omega is nothing but uh, 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 th th this part is nothing but this part is nothing but this. This is so so something like this. So L V omega is uh, 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 B. D plus uh, uh, D omega uh, V. But the D omega is zero, so this is zero, and this is the D, D uh, theta, and the D theta is uh, eta. So, uh, so, so, this, so the eta is this. <coughs> so, uh, if you take the infinitesimal root correspond to this V, then this goes to the trivialized, trivial symplectic form. Then you get this. Then the same argument as in Kodaira Spencer theory gives uh, this uh, uh, correspondence. But this is very important because uh, let's consider the following example. This example is a very important example. Uh, if a uh, remark if uh, p p delta uh, p, p p theta is uh, of course subship of theta m, but theta m is uh, identified with omega one by uh, by the symplectic two form, and uh, you have a drum complex here, d d and something, and uh, this this is nothing but uh, uh, if you take v you go, this is just a v, omega v, yeah? And, uh, <coughs> and the derivative of uh, omega is nothing but uh, uh, this, this one, this one is nothing but uh, this one, this one, so uh, uh, hmm. omega v. And uh, by definition, uh, if we, if p is inside this subsheaf, then this should be zero, and this should be zero. So, it, 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 so this goes to this. So it corresponds to the kernel, kernel of d. Yes, the, this b is going to this, and this is nothing but kernel of this. So this is isomorphic. But so this is nothing but kernel d 
of the drum complex. But this is nothing but the OM in the complex category. So, uh, uh, so this is nothing but uh, DOM, and this is nothing but uh, uh, one 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 uh, M uh, D O M. So, uh, important example is the when if H one O M is and H two O M is zero, then what happens? Uh, we have the following uh, D. We have a, a assume. Then we have a following. We have a following comp uh, exact sequence O M to D O M. Yes. By definition. If it goes to zero, then this is a constant. And then take cohomologies of them. Then, uh, for example, we want to do this. You want to know this. Then H1 DOM and H1 OM. And the next, next step is H2 MC. And the next step is H2OM. Yeah? So if this, then this is zero, and this is zero. So in this case, this is, uh, in this case, then H1 uh, uh, M uh, DOM is H2MC. So it is a topological invariant. So this is the, some some case, some case, some case, some case. This is stage two uh, M C. This is a topological invariant. If you apply this to some uh, cotangent bundle of flag bride, if you start with uh, G, with some complex, a simple real re group. And take uh, its uh, parabolic subgroup, uh, Borel is enough, and take its uh, one, this one. <coughs> Usually, uh, this, th th this is not a fine variety, but uh, this is not compact variety. So, usually, this uh, we call this x. Then, usually, we have this. This is the this is inf infinite dimension, usually. Usually means uh, if G is uh, general and B is, if G is general, then it is usually uh, infinite dimensional space. So the Kodaira Spencer theory gives, don't, don't give, doesn't give uh, uh, good uh, information. But uh, in our case, dimension H2, Xc is nothing but uh, this is the some this is bundle over G mod B. This is a projective uh, variety. This is compact. This is not compact. This is a, a vector bundle over projective variety. It is not compact. So this is usually this. But this this in this case this uh, 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 in this case and uh, we can check that this is uh, uh, zero. Yes, so we apply this situation, and this is so. This is the, of course, uh, this is the batch number of. This is a uh, vector bundle, so th this is nothing but the batch number of this, batch number of this, and this is this is just the rank of g. This this is so of course infinite. So in this case, Poisson or simple deformation gives a very effective information. So Poisson uh, or symplectic deformation behave behave uh, much, much better. Much, uh, my English is mm, better uh, than the usual 
usual uh, deformation theory. Deformation. So, so this is the reason why I use the Poisson deformation or symplectic deformation. Uh, the, such situation often occur in our situation because I treat uh, affine varieties or something like uh, resolution of affine varieties. Uh, they usually have uh, infinite three dimensional <coughs> H1 theta. But Poisson deformation behaves very well. Uh, <coughs> yes, this is the reason why I use uh, Poisson deformation or symplectic deformation. So I stop the, sorry, sorry, I, I stop here today. <coughs>